the top lane with Galio, that can work pretty well. So why couldn't Gragas just match up in the mid lane? You go exactly. triple Doran's ring, you match that, you can itemize very easily. He's going for it behind the TSM bot lane. That ward has been there for a while. CLG made to get this, made sure to get that in place for a play down the line, and this is going to be the one locked up and taken down is double lift. Darshan, before the kill ended, trying to already trying to keep him in range for Dardak here. Over the wall, Sonic Wave. He's just gonna flash it as well. Quite a bit of resources used here for the kill, but they're buying time for the lane to be pushed up by Stick Say to keep these guys out of clearing the wave and to try and get some pressure on that bot lane turret. They do get the two kills. If you get hooked in there, uh, you're definitely gonna go down. He's looking. Locks him up. You just... Cast your cars. What was that? You have a crystal ball or something? <laughs> Man. I mean, it, it's the right play to go for. Earlier right. mid play. Tries to get a few attacks on. The Mark of the Storm is going to allow him to lock down Darshan fast, but Dardoch's going to be able to get right out of it as well. They're going for the kill. What does the rest of the team get? Yerson tries to come in on this one. The chase from Lulu possibly speeding up the team wouldn't. Dardoch with the hit. A little too deep, but he does have Dar or he does have Darshan rather. He's coming in. Dial cross. Solo the kick through. Oh, he misses the sonic wave. That follow-up might have put him a little too deep. Afro Moo wanted it too. They're on his fence Garen now, but the first one to go down is Afro Moo. A great 1v1 between Stick Say and Double It brings Double It very low as him and Biofrost have about 600 HP. The resulting fight gives De uh, Bjergsen a kill. Now on to the rest of the team of CLG. Will they find one to Hauser? Oh, this the is two. He into the fight. Oh. He's going in with the double kill. A possible triple, but the Winds of War pushes him out from Bjergsen. And Dardok is going to get out with the team as they call the disengage. Winds of War are going to damage the team, but they don't have a way to smite this one now. Since Garen's too far away, it's CLG's Baron at 20 minutes in, and Bjergsen wants to work. That's the airborne on the stick. Say he gets himself in a great spot. The chain of corruption goes out. And TSM has so much ground to cover now before they can enter the fight with Bjergsen. Who he's back on the line and CLG go back in to take down Beard. Hauncer get the stun bot in, the damage onto Darshan now, and they can't Ooh, lock still him down. All remember. Slivers of health is CLG's who he decides to go back in. Aframu looking for a pick. Just over. As far as vision into their side of the jump. Oh. Oh, out of the air. Alley oop yanked oh, back. Since doesn't it. have a chance to think about it. Blast cones himself to safety as after who he's Q. CLG looking at Baron as this fight oh, he's happens. Going for the turnaround. He gets the turn on the vitals against the wall. He's gonna be able to get the last attack in. And we question whether he can do the 1v1 in the fights. And there's the 1v1 after the fights from earlier in mid. Teleport now coming in from Bjergsen. The rest of the team is gonna be here. And now double lift is hit up. Darshan's on him immediately. There goes Dardock to the back of the fight. They put Fence Garen in a very sticky situation. Bjergsen missing the Justice Punch, and now CLG ready to deliver more kills. Here comes another one in. No, that has stopped up. They don't decide to do it. They keep going for the fight to the top side. That is Biofrost going down. There's the kill onto Svens Garen. Bjergsen will also fall. A stun up on the two. fight. Ooh, he is in a bad spot here. Actually gonna get himself taken down. As he goes over the fight, he takes down Sven Scarin before he goes down. The heal from Grand Challenge keeps himself alive a little longer, but Darshan has not strayed from the top lane. Ooh, that's gonna be the hits. Knock up from Bjergsen. Uh, actually, a teleport coming in from Darshan. They want this fight instead of having a free lane to the bot side. Darshan's very, very low. They're getting in a little late on this fight. Stixay has a long way to run here, and CLG has just taken a cross-map fight that could cost them the map control. Good damage from Dardock and the rest of the team to save off the rest of this, but it doesn't seem like they'll lose so much with the waves they have pushing it. You go down in the fight, you're gonna be worried about one of these guys trying to start it back up. Just a kick on Sven Garen. Dardock really didn't have anywhere to go after that. Who he looking to come back or keep splitting? The waves for TSM aren't really in position. If they do get a win, they're gonna get Baron. So who he stays on the inhibitor turret, and CLG will try to stop the Baron as much as possible. Yeah, CLG just has to delay now because right. Yor is in the base taking down the inhibitor. There's a massive lane top. CLG doesn't want to fully commit to a fight. Sven's Garen very He's low so here. Low. If he goes down, they would lose their smite. He's the closest to Baron too. Has to jump out. Takes another shot. He's one hit away. 200 HP. Airbone goes. Bjergsen as he tries to get in for the taunt. Who he's in the base by himself. A Nexus turret goes down. He can easily finish the game here if CLG goes for broke and uses each bit of HP they have. Oh, he's looking for the 1v1 of Hauntzer. Hauntzer, almost all vitals proc, and that would be his life. Two more to go. Back to the Nexus turret for Huki now as the minions are just off the outside range. A few more shots. Nexus fountain, or the turret fountain's gonna kill him. He's gotta be careful. Kill going in now. Nexus on to Biofrost. 
CLG can make it into the base with the rest of the team. This is the GA we were talking about. It just makes things last so long. And Hoogie has bought time for the team as they bought time at Baron. Yeah, they don't get the Baron. They don't end the game, but they get two in him. Three quarters oh, on cooldown. That's the hit in. Chain of Corruption's onto immediately. One last shot after the Blade of the Rune King. CLG with a beautiful early game. TSM held it off. Backs against the wall. Looks like the Nexus is going to go down, though. Seven seconds. It has to happen now. They've got it. it. Kicked away by Dardock, and the Nexus falls in favor of Counter Logic Gaming. What an insane game from CLG. That was ridiculous. Blitzcrank support, Fiora mid to counter the Bjerks and Gallio. Pretty quickly. Uh, like. This is a lot of pick from both teams. Uh, surfing around and dashing around here as it's the Talia versus Ari in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. We'll see oh, a dive here. This would be very aggressive early on. I'm gonna say the ping just went down. That was the alert from the Scryer's Bloom. There's the Repel, the last few hits. The hits go on to Darshan, he flashes out. That was a very heated turret and they would have gone down. Great play farm. The wall gets Bjergs in there. Darshan would have had a way out, but he has to put himself back under the turret. Tries to go for the stun onto Hauntzer with a slice and dice to get a little bit of room, doing everything he can. But TSM is one step ahead. Caught. The chain of corruption is just after. They're hesitating on this. They just saw the dragon get taken down, so the grab was almost for naught. Now they're on to Aphromoos. He doesn't know how much he wanted this fight. The kickback from Svenskaren and the double knockup, and they're going to clean this up. Double kill for Sven. TSM gets so much on the bot side. Nice kick in there. Leads. Arrow. That arrow. Cross field. Oh, like a moth to the flame. Oh, way to kick him back and get the kill, resulting in the death of Hoogie with summoners up. Now it's going to be the straight down repel here for Dardock, and he may not find oh, himself no. taunting anybody after that one. Ooh, he ulted first. Darshan just to the left. They have Bjergsen. Now Ruthless Predator, the double stun. Dardock gets out very low, but nobody's there with Darshan and Dardock. They're already Ooh, down the before line. the team can get in. Who he getting hit? Now trying to get away with the orbit deception speed is just enough. But he goes down with both summoners down as well. Hauntzer in a 2v1 now. You can see Stixay has been so far oh, behind. Oh, the arrow! He can't provide the damage necessary. Heal is there for him. Let's the barrel charge up. The long range arrow keeps Hoogie in place. Long enough to tell the story once again. Nine to are not gonna look for the though. Right in, does not even hesitate. Oh, got it. Gets it. Dardock is in that mode. You can see it right there. They were going for either the death and the dragon or death the dragon out. And now it's gonna be the fight resulting. Maybe Hauntzer goes down here. This extended fight going in favor of CLG as Darshan flashes forward. One more auto attack there. Does not slice and dice forward for any more. Caught out here, he's gonna go down too. There's a little bit of relentlessness coming here from CLG. They head back down to the bot side, double it slowly, slowly. Ever so slow. Frost, but double looking for another arrow, hits it again, and Sven One, looking for the kick. Sven waits, he waits for Dardock to separate himself a little bit more from Aphromoo. They know they can't take the fight, the quick hop off stops anything from mid lane. That's a second tier look. Teleport now coming in. That's the hit up on to Dardock. He goes down immediately. And it looks like Hauntzer is going to be trying to follow this fight, whether it is to just push CLG off or get more. We'll find out in a second. It's to get more. Flash forward. That's going to be the hit on the sticks. A barrel slow to oh, come in as hook. well. There's the flash hook from Biofrost. And he gets even more aggressive here as two that get a flay for his teammate right past no ruthless predator on the cross they should be able to take out darshan but quickly dardock and who he collapse on that fight double lift and biofrost what a split by them to push clg off as well bjergsen weaving the wall down to the fight and clg just finds tsm coming out of the woodwork every time they want to fight CLG. And that could be the engage. All the way to Bjergsen. How did he get it to split the members of TSM? Biofrost and Doublelift now running for the hills, but it's Darshan who's already at the top playing king. Can they follow up with more? The charm just missing for the heal from oh, Doublelift. Back up There's the separation, but wait a minute. Aphromoo gets picked in. The death sentence just misses, and nobody's sentenced just yet. Darshan in. A ruthless predator look for double lift on the end, but he just gets the call with a bit of the rage on the end for extra heal. This is such a separation. There's the kill. He's waiting oh, for oh, it. Oh. And Sven taunts it before he goes for Hoohee. Sven Saren going legendary. But it's only Baron at 20 minutes once again. This seems to be a uh, theme of the week. Early Baron. It's been such an active game. It does take them a while to take it down because it's so early in that game, but. 
No jungler here. Afterno looking for the hook steal. Nope. 0 10, 1 0 Lurt. Oh my god! <laughs> Happy birthday to Double Lift! There's a surprise party. It's not even his birthday. Oh, There's the hook. Oh, hook for hook. We're going to see who has the better one. Who is the governor of Hook City on this? Afro move very close to going down as Stick stays down. The DPS from the bot lane is out of the fight. And now Darshan has to look for safety as Bjergsen able to throw the rocks in and do enough damage. They'll be able to solidify this one down. Biofrost cheating death with a flay. On to the big croc, and TSM come up big with four. Zero, but to Leo Wall in about five Biofrost seconds. Around. They're not even going to need to use it. If they do, they're going to cut the team off to the other side. Whoa, lots of damage coming into Biofrost as well. So CLG having their own damage to put forward, but top for support. Big separation in the fight. 5v1, if he can even live for that long. The entire team is on the top side here with the inhibitor down on bot. An interesting choice, and it looks like they're going to lose pressure mid. It's really the only they haven't built any armor yet. That hurts because armor is one of the cheaper items Don't you play. can get in the game. Oh, Hunter with the huge shields. Still able to get over the wall and take down Huhi, not having the same <laughs> game as he did on the Fiora. He puts himself on autopilot for a second, maybe looking to make the wall play, looking up towards the top side of the team. Dardock very low. He will stay alive with the health. No, Biofrost flashes in for the auto, and they're going to start cleaning up the rest of CLG on their own. Engage TSM turns them on their own head. Just ridiculous. That's the 13th kill of the game. 25 KD, 28 and 7. 29 minutes into the game, TSM shaking off game one as CLG came out strong. TSM turned on the afterburners and we're going to a game three. It's definitely a, a game to be happy about for TSM. Uh, definitely looked very clean. And it's one that actually started out well. Forced to take them down. Uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. It should be you know, Galio top going up against that Renekton. So Haunter had his choice of those picks. Well, Hero's Definitely. entrance is up as well. Once he gets there, we'll have to see where it's used. Stick say, gets himself back, throws the feathers, and who he's able to come up with first blood. CLG having the lane to escape in. Still able to get the kills on TM. Maybe able to draw out a hook. Oh, here comes Talia. They're looking team. for the fight. Oh, whoa! Goes for the safeguard to the kick on Dardock to try and clear out the damage. They drop double lift immediately. And now they're trying to focus on where to go. Spells, and I hope we get to watch that again, but there's a dive here up in topside. The turret's almost dead, but it's still hitting them. Nobody's hitting the turret there. They finally get the last shot. Dardock focuses it, but it's been too long. Afro, who never got an initial knockup with the grand entrance, Battle Dance put to position, and it did not help. Now the rest of the team is able to tear CLG apart. As Summon? TSM could potentially push for double turrets here with this, as CLG's having to go back to base, and now Huhi picked up. Instantly caught out as he goes to place down his vision ward. Oh, the engage. Grand entrance on Spence. Garen cannot get over to the lantern. The battle dance back as Aphromoo gets himself to safety. What an ultimate from Stixay keeps himself alive. Dodging out the arrow. He's out his ultimate, but he gets a flash from Dardock, and now the pick over onto. Oh, almost an instant double kill. Spence Garen very low, cannot get taken down in the end, though. It is a kill for a kill. Supports are down as they both try to get in for Lever. And now another pick. They're going for double lift. Ooh. Oh, my word. The blue suede shoes. Can he get out of this one alive? Almost makes it. Hotter here. He had to go for the long haul on that one and use all of the abilities. This is Bjergsen now from the top side. Hanser has absorbed a lot. Is that the turnaround for TSM? Darshan still in the front line as well. Kick back on the taunt, so no follow-up from either team on that. Hanser looking for the dive in. He is full fury, but Darshan going magic resistance other than the cowl. The initiation draws it back. Stun on stun from the Zaya Rakan combo as you're locked up until you're knocked down. Take out this turret. Oh, and Gate misses from Afromu. Oh, when you try to go for a full team, it becomes very difficult. They quickly sidestep it. Grand entrance. And the hero's entrance goes in. Is around the side going to be threatening a dive? They can keep going. Who he's caught. Ruthless Predator onto him. Oh, seismic shove right back into the frying pan. A justice punch forward from Darshan as he tries to pick up just ever. 
so slightly a little bit for CL or Andre now looking for the engage here on a Bjergsen. The double hit. Do they continue to go? Move thinks he can get the charm down on enough members. Actually keeps himself alive in a four-person situation. Haunter what a talk from Darshan as Haunter tries to do the same thing. He's killing Alio or Renekton. Who's going to do more damage? And I think we find out in the end. It's Haunter coming up big for TSM. Oh, All the way in. Ben Skarin takes the resonating strike. Lives with under 100 HP and TSM. Oh, my word. Oh, they're on Baron. A few more hits. Svenskaren locks up Baron, but it looks like CLG's quite healthy to start things off. Ponser goes down to start it, and that's going to be Darshan as well. Top laner's out for both teams. The hook misses, and Stick stays very low with an ultimate. Sven coming from the side. It looks like the fight's going to break out. Waiting for Darshan to be able to take a few of these engages and live for the team. Aphromoo to the back, has the battle dance back. Haunter has the back line as he starts the fight, and CLG just starts to melt under the damage of Team Solo mid. Aphromoo now goes down. Dardock on the wrong side of the fight. He's going to be going down with a quick bite from TSM, and they chop down on the rest of CLG. Darshan heads for the hills as TSM heads for the base. TSM set up. Uh, in the bot lane, that Hunter is there. They're big stun. Double lift engaged on. That's going to be a huge shutdown on Bjergsen. What a hit from Aphromoo. That's the follow-up CLG was waiting for. And they don't even Hunter wait to light like the trigger. Hunter on the back, able to do a 4v1, 5v1. He doesn't even matter what the numbers are. It's up to CLG to re-coordinate. At once, the minions just get there to weaken the turret. Nine seconds on Bjergsen and double lift. They don't have Fence time. up, and it looks like they, they have the damage. It's going to be Dardock on the turret. Guard going down, Sven's gearing very low. Stixie goes down as well. The one for one there. And here comes Double Lift out of the base. He finds a true arrow. Eagle Eye Double Lift dropping down Huhi. And TSM's going coast to coast for the win. Oh, and CLT, what a play in the mid lane, but they thought they could end the game. They didn't just want the inhibitor. They could have played a pretty even game from there. They decided to go for the win. It doesn't pay off, and TSM is able to hold on and take down the series. Awesome job. The rivalry of TSM and CLG going to TSM in two and one. Such an exciting series, though, and a ridiculous ending to that game. Really little things. Uh, were what made the difference in that in that final series of plays. You know, TSM trying to delay them, delay the minions from getting in, meant that the backdoor bonus stayed up on that inhibitor turret so long, uh, and they weren't able to take.